Uh, so hi everyone, so um, welcome to my um, vlog update. Um, so yeah, so I'm okay. Um, I um, Biggest news um, this week is that I had my um, brace off, so that was really really um, good. That was a re real relief as well to just have the brace off after five years actually I've been having orthodontic treatment for five years, so um, yeah. So the good news is the brace will stay off now forever. I have to wear a retainer at night, um, hopefully not indefinitely, I think maybe for about six months to a year. Um, but um, the bad news is um, I've got, I actually have got an infection in my left jaw, so um, I'm going to need to have a second operation to replace the plate in there. The metal plate in there is, um, <coughs> is um, my my left jaw has rejected the metal plate in in um, in my mouth. So um, yeah, so that'll be uh, you know hopefully fairly soon. So. Um, the nurse, when I was at the hospital, having my, after I had my brace removed, um, I went in to see a um, nurse who um, took um, a lot of my details for the um, for the upcoming surgery. So all that's been done. So I've already had the consultation with the nurse. Um, I mean, I've, I'm just waiting for a date now um, on um, when my surgery is going to be, and I'm going to. Um, I'm going to obviously have a COVID test like a day before and then um, I'm going to go in for surgery again. So, yeah, so it could be soft foods again for a couple of weeks. Um, so, yeah, so I have to make sure I'm stocked up with um, soft foods. Um, yeah, so, I mean, really, the only other thing I wanted to talk to today was the way that the um, media have been trying to um, derail um, the Scottish... Um, gender reform bill, gender recognition reform bill. I mean, it is really outrageous, but unfortunately it's not surprising because that's the way that our media reacts to trans people. You know, unfortunately in the UK, um, we have a media which is, a mainstream media which is completely against trans people and really completely against LGBTQ plus people as well. They're very right wing. They don't like immigrants. They don't like. Um, they're against a whole range of people. Um, but at the moment, trans people are being used in a culture war by our um, government, who are unelected. Um, we haven't had an elected government now since um, for about two or three years. So, all the, I mean, Liz Truss, the present, the past. Um, Prime Minister and um, the present Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, they were never democratically voted in. They're all the result of a power struggle between um, a sort of right wing kind of far right, I would say, Yunta that's kind of established itself within the trans com with trans community within the Tory <laughs> within the Tory government. Um, so yeah. So anyway, I mean, I've been watching this unfold. You know. I, there's one particular instance where Nicola Sturgeon, um, head of the Scottish Parliament, tries to explain to a journalist from one of the newspapers or one of the media publications, I can't remember which one it was, but she tries to explain to a journalist that um, trans women and trans people, there's a whole trans men, um, uh, are, and, and non-binary people um, are kind of um, put in male or female prisons on a case-by-case -case basis um, but there was a big story in the news about a um, person convicted of rape called Isla Bryson I believe in Scotland who um, was originally going to be sent to a female prison but I don't think that's what was going to happen because like the media kind of um, messed up the story um, so I don't think it was that so it was again 
media misinformation. I don't think they even decided which prison she was going to go to. But um, they, um, they sort of got Nicola Sturgeon on the spot about that and she said, um, oh well, um, this person's not going to a female prison. And then she tried to, to explain then that not every trans person um, is going to, you know, not every, every trans woman goes to a, a um, male prison. Um, not, you know, some trans women go to a female prison, some trans women go to a men's prison, depending on what their, um, what their personal sort of circumstances are and what their, um, you know, the circumstances of what they've been convicted um, of is, uh, <coughs> you know, is sort of present in that. But, um, yeah, but anyway, Nicola Sturgeon explained this, but now, like, right-wing media outlets like GB News, for instance, and some of the... You know, even some of the mainstream papers like, um, you know, the Telegraph and the Times and the Mail and all those um, are trying to say that um, Nicola Sturgeon doesn't, you know, is changing the um, rule book as, as she's going along. But that's actually not true because it's always been on a case by case basis. But I think what the government are trying to do is to force every... Um, trans woman who hasn't had surgery, you know, even if they're legally female and, and they've got a gender recognition certificate to um, go to a, a male prison, you know, so, you know, even if you have like a trans woman, for instance, who's guilty of a non-violent offence like fraud, um, sh she will be sent to a, a male prison, you know, where she, re where she's kind of put at high risk of, um, you know, violent assault or, or rape or, you know, sexual, all kinds of sexual assaults um, because of the fact that she um, hasn't had um, bottom surgery, gender reaffirming, you know, gender, um, reaffir gender affirming surgery, sorry. So, yeah, so, yeah, it's that, that's kind of really unfair. I mean, if the government's going to do that, then that's, you know, that, that, the amount of trans women being raped in prison and beaten up and murdered is just going to skyrocket, you know. Um, so it's absolutely awful. And as I've said in um, pre a previous video, um, the Labour government are not challenging this, you know. They don't want to be seen to be on the side of trans people. Um, they sort of, there's a lot of, turfs in the Labour Party, you know. There's um, actually quite a lot of right-wing males in the Labour Party as well. Um, I mean, <clears throat> you wouldn't think it, but, you know, the, the Labour Party are now like the left wing of the Conservative Party, you know, that's I don't mean that. I actually know um, some Conservatives who are more sort of, um, <clears throat> you know, left wing on trans issues or more sort of <clears throat> supportive of trans people than the um the Labour Party. Um so yeah, I mean it's like <clears throat> it's dire, you know, I mean it is really grim and um I mean hopefully this government won't last long, you know, I mean we can only hope that they get kicked out there there's an election. Um that's um, you know forced to have they're forced to have an election soon because there are strikes there is a cost of living crisis there's goodness knows what going on you know and there were millions of people on strike the other day um, but the government obviously wants to distract attack uh, attract distract attention from this by um, you know having a go at trans people all the time you know in what they think is a populist. Um, sort of um, policy, but it, it's not, you know. I mean, most people that I know here in Wales anyway support trans people and, you know, I've not, never really, the only transphobia I've actually had, or most of the transphobia I've had overwhelmingly has been online from TERFs and, you know, far right sort of neo-Nazi types. Um, it's, you know, but hey, that that's the way things are, you know. Um, so yeah, so that that's my opinion on all this anyway. Um, I mean, nobody ever asks about trans men in men's prisons, for instance, and nobody even 
considers non-binary people either because unfortunately non-binary people don't have any rights in the UK or any legal protection or any legal recognition, they have nothing, you know. I mean, other countries have, have self-ID, have legal recognition and protections for non-binary people, but um, and, and nothing, you know, nothing untoward has happened, nothing, you know, as I say, they haven't gone to hell in a handcart. So what is it about the UK, you know, that there, there is so much transphobia? Um, and it's my belief that the UK establishment is transphobic. I mean, whether it has something to do with a lot of members of the establishment, the UK establishment, going to um, private schools, single-sex schools, where they can't, you know, they're unable to sort of, like, um, have normal relationships with um, people, you know, members of the opposite sex. Maybe it's something to do with that, you know, because to those of us who went to comprehensive schools and co-ed, co-educational establishments, you know, I mean, um, the sort of that is totally alien to us. I mean, because we grew up, you know, as boys and girls playing together to a certain extent, you know. I mean, so yeah, it's it's a mystery. So please let me know what you think down in the comments below. And um, thank you very much for watching. And um, I love you all. So um, take care and stay safe and. Um, Au revoir for now.